What, what is dead may never die. Ah! Just a regular Monday morning at Ballintoy Harbour. These superfans are on a Game of Thrones tour of filming locations. They come from all corners of the world the day after the final episode was aired. I'm from Argentina, Buenos Aires, uh, and I come to this tour because I'm a huge Game of Thrones fan. We're here with the family, nine of us, and uh, yeah, we're loving it. Having fun. The cult drama is set in a fictional medievalish world, and as well as Croatia and Iceland, Northern Ireland's rugged scenery has proved the perfect backdrop. According to Tourism Northern Ireland, some 350,000 Game of Thrones fans visited from overseas last year, spending an estimated £50 million. Game of Thrones related tourism is said to have generated £210 million for the Northern Irish economy since its pilot a decade ago. If you're a super fan, you'll recognise this beautiful avenue from Series 2, Episode 1. It's the King's Road. It only actually appeared for about 30 seconds, but that hasn't stopped thousands of tourists flocking to it. So many, they've had to ban cars from the road to protect it. The traffic and extra visitors have been unpopular with some who just know the beauty spot as dark hedges, but local businesses are embracing new opportunities. It puts Northern Ireland PLC on the map for all the right reasons. And when visitors actually come here, they go, oh, this is really beautiful and the people are really nice and we're treated really well and oh I'm quite surprised. These happy tourists have each paid £50 for their trip and their guide has plans to expand operations. Last night was the final episode so we're all really sad uh, but Game of Thrones isn't over. This, I mean the show's finished but Game of Thrones tourism is just going to keep growing and growing and growing. With rumours of a spin-off prequel and plans to open the studios in Belfast to the public next year, Game of Thrones is making tourism king. Tessa Chapman, 5 News, Northern Ireland.